Welcome to this episode of the AI Show. We're going to talk about one of the cognitive services, Bing Web Search API. Did I get it right? Yes. I'm here with yes, Ronak. Sir. Why don't you tell us about yourself? Hey, Seth. Uh, so I'm Ronak. I'm working in the cognitive services team, and my particular focus is on uh, search APIs. Fantastic. So why don't you describe what this is and why someone would use it? Hey, um, so I'll start from here where we have cognitive services and specifically we are in the search vertical where we have multiple APIs. So we have auto-suggest API, then vertical search APIs such as mm -hmm. image, video, news, and uh, we have custom search APIs as well. Specifically today, I'm going to talk about the Bing Web Search API. The Bing Web Search API is like the knowledge of world mm -hmm. in one single call, right? So what this API will do is this will give you all the answers that you have on Bing.com first page yeah. in just a single call. All the answers. That's all amazing. The answers. Yeah. So let's go ahead and see uh, what is available here. Um, you can go on to the Bing Web Search API page. We have a demo here uh, where you can play around with your queries. For example, when you click on Burrito Recipes, which is important, here, um, you don't only see websites here, but you also see um, related searches. You also see videos here. And on this demo widget, you can also play around with your queries. So, for example, let's say, let's, let's say we want to understand what happened on Oscars, right, 2018. Um, you'll get all the information here in a single call. So, you have all the websites here, you have related searches, you have videos from there, and you have news as well. I see. So, let me see if I understand. Because you have other services that will do just news, that will do just video, and that will just do the text one. But this one is like, Let's put them all together because that's one use case. Exactly. So you have information of the world in just a single call, right? right? Everything. And this is intelligent enough to understand what answers make sense for a given query, right? So for example, rather than searching for Oscars, if you're searching only for, let's say, how do I install Python, that probably images will not make sense and news mm -hmm. will also not make sense. So it will not give you those kind of answers. Got this will it. only give you things which are really, really relevant for that query. And this is coming from like billions of web pages and queries that we are serving. So we cool. really understand what answers are making sense. Uh, it also understands how do you optimally place these things, right? So it will also give something called as ranking response, where it will say that, okay, for this particular query right now, there is a trending news. So news will make a lot of sense and you can surface that up on your page. I see. And so when you get this back as a programmer, what are you, are you getting back? I see the JSON tab. Is it just JSON you're getting back? Yeah, so you're getting JSON response. So what we want to do with this is we want to provide a lot of flexibility so that you can have your own presentation layer mm -hmm. and you can show on that, right? Uh, so this is a typical example of JSON response where you're getting different nodes and in this different nodes you have different answers available, right? Um, and one thing that I would like to show is how can you get started with all these things, right? Sure. It's really simple, it's just a single API call, uh, but we have rich information available here for our developers. Um, so if you go here, we have uh, quick starts. Mm -hmm. And these are like literally you can get started in five minutes. You just copy the code and you can get started. What this will do is this will make a simple call and this will give you just on response back. And then onus is up to you uh, to create a presentation layer and show that on yourself. Well, I mean, you could draw it or optionally you could actually, like depending on the things that get back, maybe you only want to look at the top two. You have a lot of flexibility in what you can do. Exactly. And even these APIs are flexible enough. So you can say that I'm only interested in two answers or oh. I'm only interested in news, right? And it will give you only that. Fantastic. Uh, you can also control number of results that you're getting. So for example, in web page, you're only interested in, let's say, top two results. You can say that I'm only interested in top two results, and it will give you only top two uh, results. So you can also optimize your payload of JSON response. I see. So where do, where have you seen people use these kinds of things? Just to inspire developers as you're listening. Well, there are lots and lots of applications that we have seen, and we are still discovering new applications. Uh, so first thing that we talked about is just a rich experience that you can have on your search page. But there are lots of other applications, such as plagiarism check where people want to understand that if they have some content from business or academics, oh, right, wow. where is that coming from, right? And based on that, they derive some similarity score and say that this is a text that can probably have legal ramifications. You can remove that and you can replace that with something else. That is just one application. The other yes. application is, let's say you want to understand that uh, if I have an image, uh, what is the license type of, or type of that image, right? right. Um, and when you have that image, you would like to probably have creative commons or those kind of images. You can also utilize that for here, right? Um, Let's say you are a premium content site where you only want to have content that is exclusive for your website, right? You can also figure out where these images are coming from, where is this text coming from, mm -hmm. and you can remove all the duplicates that you have. That's pretty amazing. I mean, like I, I was trying to think of like a use case, but you came up like five or six just off the top of your head. Yeah, and there are lots and lots of other use cases. In financial domain, for example, you want to uh, stop uh, fraud proactively, right? So you would like to understand that if a guy is coming to me, 
whether he'll be able to pay back or not. So this is more like digital forensics, where you understand about that user through web search API, where it will give you information around what is the LinkedIn profile, what is the Facebook profile, what is the Twitter profile. You can use all this information in just a single call and create a rich information around that email address or that person. Scary and amazing. So one of the things that I wanted to see is, is there a quick start that you wanted to show us? It's like the code and then maybe what it, what it, what it rendered, sorry. Exactly, so there are, there are multiple ways to get started. If you are only looking for uh, JSON response, you can get started with the API quick starts that we have here. Mm -hmm. um, and this quick starts are in six different languages. So you pick your own language and you can get started, right? Nice. Uh, if, you are, if you are thinking about presentation layer, then we have uh, tutorials here, mm -hmm. where there is a code written in HTML, where JavaScript is already embedded. And you can go here and you just copy the code from here, right? And then you put that in Notepad and you can basically open that in your browser. And, and that's directly look. copy and paste. Exactly, it's just copy and paste and you just give your subscription key and you can get started, right? Then this is what you will see. Now what you can do on top of this is you can utilize this code as your presentation layer, make amendments, and then you can render this okay. experience on your site. Well, this right. is pretty amazing. Where can people go to get started? Uh, so people can go here. Uh, I'm just gonna go back mm -hmm. and there are a couple of experiences we have. The first experience is you just want to get started for free, right? Mm -hmm. You don't, pro don't want to provide any credit card information or anything like that. So in that case, you can just go here, click on this link, try for free, and you can get started. This will give you subscription keys which are valid for like 30 days um, for free, right? And it will give you 1,000 calls as well. That's pretty amazing. Alternately, if you want to buy a purchase subscription, you can click here, it will lead you to the Azure portal and you can sign up there with your credit card. And this is available in multiple bundles. So we have eight different bundles in which this offering is available depending on what is your use case. So for okay. example, if you are interested only in web pages, you can probably go with the bundle where only web pages are available. And that is much cheaper, that's like $3 per thousand calls. Okay. But if you are interested in everything, in like one single call, right, web pages and images and news and videos and related searches and entities, everything in one go, there is another bundle that is available that, that is costing around $7. Awesome, I mean, it's pretty amazing though with everything that you get with this. Yeah. Thanks so much for spending some time with us, my friend. Thanks, Ed. Thanks for having me here. here. Uh, thanks so much for watching. We've been learning all about the Bing Web Search API. You can include tons of information about the world in your application in context. I think it's pretty amazing. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Take care. Thank you.